Hi guys, we're um, setting up for our 10th Motor Classica, which is on from the 11th to the 13th at the old exhibition buildings in Melbourne. A whole heap of cars coming there, which every year they put on a great show. Uh, we'll be packing up this week and heading off, so we figured we'd show you a few of the things we're going to take. Here, this is the new shop. Uh, we'll take you on a quick tour around with a few things we'll be taking. We'll be taking that. Most of that. Uh, we picked up a nice 425 sign the other day. I think we posted that on Facebook, didn't we? Oh, this is the service bell. <laughs> I did that. Jared has more time on his hands than he needs to know what to do with. Yeah. We're not taking that, we've sold that. Uh, the Ampol sign, we're taking that. The little industrial 605, we'll be taking. Nice little shell, 605. And around here, we have ERL. That'll be going up the show. We're going to the big show. This is our kitchen area, which we've uh, sort of done a bit 50 style, haven't we? Check and play floor. We got a nice good year sign the other day, which we'll be going. Uh, barber's chair, a little rough, but could, could come up quite nice. We've done them before, haven't we? They look good. Double 605, hand piece on each side, ready to rock. A rotor fridge, which is working way too well. <laughs> it actually does say we that you've got to defrost them every 12 days. Where does it say that? Somewhere in there. Every 10 days. How many days has it been since we defrosted it? Three months. An Edison gramophone, or cylinder player, actually. Cylinder player. I'll give it a little bit of a shake. Little bit of a What's the matter with the mail? Sung by Arthur Collins, Edison Records. We actually got this in pieces. We got that in pieces and totally, Jared's totally pulled it apart and restored it. Had to buy bits from America to get it going properly. We're very happy with it. I'm in the loop. We don't let a lot of people in here. Uh, we actually have got over this side is uh, Mick is selling motorcycle spare parts, 70s, 80s bikes at the moment for the car show. Mick's doing up this little BSA. Hope he gets it finished. He thought he had one more week and he hasn't. And then the main part of the workshop where Lots of restos, one we're gonna do soon. Nice ABC, sort of nice. And this huge American Bowser. It's a char meter, we think, which, as I found out, is probably one of two in the country. That nice little 605 in the air pole. It uh, lights up, but I've got to buy lights for it because we're very busy. Come this way. Down here we've got a big COR sign we bought the other day. Or some people like to call it cool. Come off all refineries. In not bad nick. A double door fridge. Done in coke. Works like an absolute beauty. Gotta get some bottles of coke to put in it, I reckon that would be a few. We've got ourselves a nice little, not a little safe, a big safe. Locks up. Keep all your goodies. Heavy as all hell. What else have we done, Jared? Oh, we did. We got two Ampole plastic signs. Originals. We've got about 600 square metres of uh, floor space here with a few different stall holders that are all 
got an eclectic range of things, but as well we've got our workshop. The building's fantastic, old industrial. Uh, it was a clothing factory in the 1950s, so it's got sawtooth roof, double brick, great light. Um, we're just wrapped, it's a wonderful space. We're doing a lot of work in it, aren't we, Jared? Well, I am. <laughs>